So hello, uh, I am Viet Din and this is Gretchen Johnson. She is a first year PhD student under um, in Dr. Stankowska's lab and she has just finished her master's in forensic genetics. So uh, hello Gretchen, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. So um, first of all, can you tell me a little bit about what you study? Like what are you doing in Dr. Stankowska's lab? Yeah, so I actually just joined the Visual Sciences program, which is part of the North Texas Eye Research Institute. So um, we are studying um, diseases of the eye, specifically in Dr. Stankowska's lab, uh, glaucoma. Mm -hmm. And what, like, what brought you to that field of study? Like, what, what told you that this was the path you wanted to join? Um, so it was a, a weird path to get here because, um, as you mentioned, I just got my master's in forensic genetics and my undergrad was also in forensics, um, partially because I thought it sounded cool, was pretty young, didn't know what I wanted to do, but luckily I was convinced to have a, to do a science degree so that way I could like experience that and build up on that. And so that's how I figured out that I, it was something I love to do, research and explore and discover. Um, but then during my master's here, doing the forensics program, I had colleagues and friends that were doing their traditional biomedical PhD alongside of me and getting to talk to them and just being in classes with them and interacting and seeing what it was like on that side of the uh, field, which I hadn't really experienced before because I pretty much was just like, yeah, forensics, you know, <laughs> so... Um, just after seeing that and being like, oh, I hadn't really considered this before, um, that made me think about if that was something that I might want to pursue. And as I continued during my master's, I chose to do research instead of an internship. And I found out that my skills were better suited to that. Um, to be a DNA analyst, it's very, there's very strict protocols that you have to follow. And not that there's not strict protocols in research that you have to follow, but you get to, you have a lot more freedom and control of what you get to do and schedule. So if you get a certain result, you are free to be like, okay, well, I think this means this, or like, let's check on that. And so in forensics, you don't get to do that because it's a very, there's like, you're dealing with um, evidence in most cases. So um, just fi figuring that out and fi figuring out that, that doing research was something that would make me happier in the long run um, is something that pointed me to apply and um, luckily get accepted to the PhD program. And visual sciences was a recent decision. I knew that I still liked my genetics background and um, my colleagues were using their genetics um, to study Alzheimer's disease, which I found extremely interesting. So I was looking at um, neuroscience. And so that was, that was kind of starting to narrow it down uh, because visual sciences is um, still part of the neuroscience uh, department because um, your eye is essentially just an extension of your brain. There are a lot of neurons in your retina that are really important. So just learning, I, it was more of just like, as I slowly learned more and more, um, then that's kind of where I gravitated towards. And that's how I found out that this was something that I wanted to pursue. And I'm luckily learning more and more about it every day and finding out even more and more like that this is what I want to do. Nice, nice. So, um, so do you have any projects specifically like in Dr. Stankasso's lab right now that you want to talk about? Sure. So right now I am helping out with a project that was going on before I joined the lab. So Dr. Uh, Acharya had developed some um, drugs, some treatment drugs for glaucoma. Um, so in glaucoma, you have an increase of intraocular pressure, which is just, so there's just like a blockage of drainage. And so there's pressure, which can kill the cells in the back of your eye and that can lead to progressive blindness. Um, and so current treatments there are for glaucoma mainly focus on lowering pressure, but they don't really 
have any way to protect um, those, um, like I said, those neurons, because it's an extension of your brain, they don't have any way to protect those neurons from dying. So we, the drugs that we are looking at both introduce a way to decrease that pressure, but then they also have antioxidant ability, which will help protect those neurons. Um, and so the th it's supposed to be a newer and better treatment to hopefully, so that way there would be, hopefully within protecting those neurons, there'd be a retaining of that function. So that way those with glaucoma could still potentially see. So we're currently on mouse models, so there's still a long way to go, but that's the ultimate goal. Very interesting, very nice. Um, okay, so your goal is to, um, to achieve a PhD. So what do you plan on doing with that in the future? Like, what are your career goals? That's a very good question. <laughs> so, um, well, I did decide that I want to do a PhD because I wanted to go into research more so than academia. So probably something more industry focused, um, but I would definitely be staying within that realm of um, the overlap of genetics, um, neuroscience, and um, ocular visual sciences. So that's where I'm at right now. I haven't thought too long term yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just working on one step at a time. Yeah, that's definitely fine. Um, okay, so if you were approached by someone who had no interest in science at all, or, as, or no experience in science at all, a complete layperson, and they asked you what um, your goal for the future is, you know, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have to be anything specific, but like, how do you feel like you would ex explain that? Like, how would you, I guess, the, use a cliche, like improve the world based on your, um, on your career? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, well, I guess I would say my, my goal with my career in the field of biomedical visual sciences is to ultimately improve the quality of life of all human beings, not just um, Americans, really. Um, every, every human, not, not everyone is affected by glaucoma, but every human is um, susceptible to um, deterioration of their eyesight. It's almost everybody eventually will have to get reading glasses. So my, my goal of studying visual sciences, again, like I said, is to hopefully um, retain eyesight or prolong eyesight, and hopefully that will also improve the quality of life. Okay. Um, so, uh, this is kind of a general question, so it might not apply to you, but is there any, like, any singular event in uh, your past that, like, that really pushed you towards this path, or, like, towards this career goal? Or was it just something that, um, uh, well, I don't know how else to phrase it, but, like, is there anything, like, specific that, that, uh, that pushed you towards this path? Um. There's, if there's no, not, then there's not. But. <laughs> I mean, I kind of can see what you mean. There, there wasn't anything really specific. Um, it was, I, like, I did actually recently find out that my family has a history of glaucoma, but that didn't, mm -hmm. that was after I had already chosen this career path. Um, mm -hmm. So I think I've just pretty much always had a desire to help people and be useful in some way. Um, I initially thought that my way of doing that would be working in forensics to help solve um, criminal cases, but I, whenever I realized that um, I would be better utilized elsewhere, then that's where I moved to. Um, I, so I don't know if there was anything specific that made me feel that way in my childhood. I've definitely been reading a lot more about uh, philosophy recently, so that might be a contributor. <laughs> Okay, and is there anything else that you wanted to talk about that I didn't ask you? That is a <laughs> good question. Um, I don't think so. I think we covered pretty much everything that I do, why it's important, and what led me to study that. So, 
thank you for doing this and thank you for talking to me. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Gretchen. Um, good luck to you. Good luck to um, your career and uh, have a nice day.